Hey guys, I'm Malaya here at IT Supplies, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Captain Hat Platten from start to finish on your Epson SureColor F2100. So we're going to do a few different things. First, you need to make sure you have all of these pieces as well as the master adapter, um, the docking setup station. You need some hats. I do have on 100% cotton hats here. Um, and then you do need a Phillips. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually remove my current platen so that I can set up the captain platen. I'm gonna have to remove a screw that is right in here. And remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty, in order to get that screw out. And we should be good to go now. All right, so my screw is out. Don't lose the screw. I'm gonna put it here. You're gonna pull. You're gonna unlock your machine on the lever and pull directly up here. Now to prepare myself to make sure that I have everything ready, the adapter is gonna go in and fit flush like that. Then I am able to lock it back, and now we're able to set up the docking station. So these two pieces will come in there. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on the side of my table here, so that way I can start the setup of the hat. So I'm gonna take this, put it here, and then I gotta unscrew there a little bit more, just to make sure this is stable. So I have it in place. I'm going to screw it back now. Really easy to do. Now this is sturdy. What I am able to do now is my setup station. So I'm going to lock this on. Just that easy. And my hat. My hat has a little thing in it. And as you can see, it does have a seam. So you can still print on this. We're going to print on the front as well as the bill so that way you can see all in one. Now you wanna make sure that when you do this, we're gonna use the under part to go right in this curve. But first we're going to flatten it, flatten the bill. We're gonna slide it under and I'm gonna get a little closer to you as well. I'm gonna slide it all the way under, flip your cap over so that you can get to that seam that I showed you and you're gonna tuck it right underneath. Now, you wanna make sure that you pull all the way back on this to ensure that this is flat. So this is how I do it, to make sure that all of it is underneath and flat for me. So make sure it's in the center, make sure it stays flat. And now I'm able to pull back the lever. I pulled it back a little bit so that I can make this a little bit straight and flat. And I'm gonna tuck on the sides here and I'm gonna pull all the way over. So this is gonna help me get a nice flat surface and I'm able to move it around a little bit more. Now, sometimes it can be tricky depending on the type of hat you're using, but I'm actually going to readjust mine just to kind of give you a view of what goes down over here. So just to kind of give you a little closer view, these are gonna lock in to secure it on there, but you wanna make sure those are out whenever you wanna take it off. So I'm gonna pull this closer so that way you can see that underneath here is where you want this to sit. So you wanna make sure that this part slides in right under because this is what's gonna make it flat for you. Hold on, mine's coming up a little. There we go. This is what's gonna make it all flat and make it make sense too. So mine is all pulled back. Just this so, and I'm gonna pull this back as well. So that way you can see it better. Now. This is what's going to make it a flat surface for you. And you just wanna make sure that this is all flat and this is centered as well. So, so if you were to finish setting this up on your docking station, what you would do then is take this off 
and it will be ready to now go here on your master adapter and lock right into place. And then we're able to actually go over to the printer uh, and move over then to the computer so we can then set it up and we'll be good to go. Okay, so now we're here at Garment Creator. And as you can see, this is not the default um, platen that you would typically use. So if you look at my layout settings, I'm using a light color um, t-shirt standard because we're doing a white hat. And then um, we are going to be using the print quality level four because I just want to see some popping colors just to let you see how the unit can perform for you, basically. So right over in my layout settings, to get this perfect, I did have to make it a small platen. So the 10 by 12 platen is what you see displayed here now. My image is horizontally negative 0.06 and then vertically 0 0.75, which is really important because that's your print space. So you don't want to do anything larger than the 6.55 by 5.22. This is what's going to make sure that we are printing within our correct print area on the Captain Platen. So I did not do any type of uh, replacements or anything like that. So we actually are ready to print. I'm going to press print and we're going to head back over to our printer so you can see the hat print. So we're back here at the printer. My Platen is on here properly. I've adjusted my hat to make sure that it's flat. I am on level because this is important. I am on level five because of the type of hat that I have. You can start at a level three. My yellow hat, I was able to start at a level three when I was doing some testing, but I am at a level five to make sure that everything can go smoothly. Now I am going to press print. Okay, so now that we have printed this out, what's really cool that you're going to see is, I'm gonna pop this off for you. You're now ready to dry this. You will use a heat gun, 60 seconds over this, and you're actually done and you've made a hat. Um, one thing that's really cool is that you can definitely make this image larger so that it can go across the whole bill, or you can make it smaller because you only want it to fit right in this print area of it being on the front of the hat for you. I thought it'd be pretty cool so that you can see that even with the seams down the middle and across, you're still able to print on a hat and it still looks really beautiful. So remember, 60 seconds with a heat gun um, and you're good to go and you have a finished product. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about any of the videos that you see here on our YouTube channel, call in to a commercial sales specialist at 800-771-9665. We're here to help.